Hi, I'm Dennis Quaid. Martin Luther King once said, if we are to have peace on earth, our loyalties must transcend our race. Now that's a notion that makes perfect sense. Yet diversity and inclusion are some things our country has struggled with. Today, certain organizations are making great strides in creating a more diverse and inclusive corporate culture, as we're about to see. We've come a long way as a society. You see more African Americans in different positions of leadership in corporations. Obviously, we had an African American president. There's tremendous opportunity to build on the growth that has happened over the last 50 years. At the same time, when you look at the entire black population, there's a strong racial wealth gap that continues to persist. To give an example, the average black family in Boston has a net worth of $8. We still have yet to go as you think about corporate America in the C-suite. As you look at education, 46% of blacks complete their four-year degree actually within six years. And so when you think about the impact to your earning potential, or you're starting your career later, or you've assumed more debt because it's taking longer to graduate, and oh, by the way, if you take jobs where you earn less than your white counterparts, that confluence of events really impacts the ability to grow wealth. Sekou Kaland knows firsthand what it's like to navigate the inroads of a white-collar industry like finance in what is typically viewed as a white person's career path. As I embarked upon my corporate journey, I quickly noticed that there weren't a lot of people who looked like me, particularly at the senior ranks. And I knew I wasn't so incredibly special that I could be the only one to be able to do this. Instead, I recognized that I would need to lean on insights and guidance from mentors and other African Americans who had navigated this path. Because each level of my career, I was able to learn and see that the difficulties <laughs> that sometimes were presented could have kept me from reaching the heights that I did were it not for my ability to leverage that insight and guidance from other African Americans. As managing director at J.P. Morgan Chase, Sekou wants to pay his opportunities forward by working to create even greater pathways to success for the next generation of Black Americans. I originally got connected with the Advancing Black Pathways program through a student organization that I was in. I didn't think I was gonna get into the program just because it's the financial industry, JP Morgan, and I never had any experience prior. But I ended up getting into the program and my experience was amazing. I'm not the same person that I was before the program started. The amount of professional development gained throughout that whole summer, the amount of people I was able to meet, the amount of networking opportunities that I had with different senior leaders every day opened my eyes to what's possible. I think being in an environment surrounded by African-American women that were actually embodying what I aspired to be, just professionals, career-minded individuals, it gave me the edge to actually apply to programs. It gave me the edge to actually feel confident in saying that, yes, I want to be a middle market banker when I get older. That's what I want to do when I get out of college. I think it really gave me a boost of confidence as well as the skill set that I think I'll need as an actual employee in a corporate environment. I'd like to express my utmost gratitude for the program. Thank you for taking stake in diverse communities. Thank you for showing me that it is possible to excel in the corporate environment. Please continue to do so. I just want to thank you guys so much for taking the opportunity on a kid that really didn't see a space for him within the financial industry. Being able to walk into the bank every day and sit at a desk every day and take on projects and do all this work, my ancestors would have never thought I would be in that seat. So I just really want to thank you guys for this opportunity. As I think about that next generation and how I want my life to be impactful, I have focused on creating that pipeline of black talent to give access to opportunities and to share what was passed on to me and pass it on in a way that helps prepare students for the challenges that they will navigate. So it is important, that's the only way we can create this inclusive economy and create growth by ensuring that talent 
has the opportunity to pursue any career that they want. I've been fortunate to have a successful corporate career and see how that has impacted my own family. And I want others to have the exact same opportunity that I did. And so that's why we launched Advancing Black Pathways a year ago to truly focus on strengthening the economic foundation of the black community. We're focused on three areas, education, career, and wealth creation. And these areas are critical for the black community because without an education, you can't have a career and build wealth. And even with a solid education and a career, if you're not financially savvy, you can't build wealth. So as we think about wealth creation, we think about home ownership, ensuring that more African-Americans have access to capital for small businesses. Black business owners have 12 times the net worth of black non-business owners. So we know by getting capital to black businesses, providing mortgages and home lending, we can truly shift the economic foundation of the black community. As I think about advancing black pathways and what success means, I hope to actually have put myself out of a job because it becomes the way these corporations operate, that we have a roadmap and playbook for any underserved community that we actually don't need in advancing black pathways to ensure that there's equality of opportunity. We hope this program has served as an inspiration to you. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the people and ideas changing the way we live. I'm Dennis Quaid.